Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a super fun project, a special project for my niece. She is turning three and she is having... Thank you. Try again. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a super special project for my niece. She is turning three and is having a Minnie Mouse party. I thought I would take my recent trip to Disney and put the projects I did there uh, to use to make her her very own set of ears. Um, I made four pairs of ears when I went to Disney early this year and I wanted her to have her very own classic mini ears. So that is what we're going to do today and I cannot wait to get started so let's go. For the puff bow and center strip of this project, I am using a pattern that I have found online and I will link it below. For the ears and the foam inserts, I have a circle piece that I cut out four times. It's just a circle with the bottom part cut out. And on the foam inserts that go inside the ears to give it a little bit of structure, those are cut a quarter inch smaller all the way around. All of the pieces for the bow are being sewn with a quarter inch seam allowance, leaving the, the bottom black pieces open so they may be turned right out. The center strip is also being sewn with the quarter ends down and it will be turned out right as well. The bow piece is being sewn with a quarter inch seam allowance and it will have a small opening at the bottom so it can be turned out as well. Curves on the ears and the bow pieces need to be clipped to allow the project to lay flat when it is turned right side out. For the foam insert pieces, I'm using a sticky foam, a craft foam, so we need to peel the backings off and stick them together and to create one ear piece. And then I'm using my loop turner to turn the center strip out. Make sure when turning out your pieces to the right side, you're popping out those little corners so you can get that nice sharp edge to have more room for filling or more room for batting to go in. I'm just trimming up my inserts a little bit just to make them fit a little bit more smoothly. Uh, they ended up being a little too big. And when I'm done with that, I pinch my inserts and have to neatly put them inside of the ear pieces. And I'm grabbing the batting because it is now time to just pull some of that apart and stuff it inside the bow. Shoving it in every little nook and cranny to just fill this bow. When it's filled, I'm going to do the same thing on both sides of the ear pieces. After doing that, I now need to slip stitch closed my opening left at the bottom of the bow. Also, sorry, the, the lens cap of my camera is just kind of dangling in the bottom corner of the screen. After tying off my last knot for the slip stitch on the bottom of the bow, I wrap the center strip around, closing off those raw edges, tucking them underneath, and just stitching this with a slip stitch as well to the bow. And we're going to just check and make sure it fits on the headband. It does, yay. <laughs> and, oh wait. All right, now the ear pieces are slip stitch as well. If only it could happen that fast in real life. Now we're just going to double check the placement for the ears on the headband before taking hot glue to the bottom of the ear piece and just gluing it down to the headband where I need it to be. Since I've already made some ears and I had some park ears, it was nice and easy to figure out the placement for where I needed them to actually be on the headband. 
and I'm just doing the same thing with slip stitching where I just attach the bottom of the bow to the fabric lining piece of the headband. Sorry, the angle's not the best. And I just finished off with a little extra stitch securing the middle of the bow back to the middle of the front ear <laughs> to still hold it in place. For some extra fun, I decided to go ahead and make a little circle skirt to go with Nari's Minnie Mouse ears so she could have her very own Minnie Mouse dress as well. I just had her waist measurements and I lined them up on my mat to make sure and I always unfold this circle just to make sure if it's a perfect circle when making the skirt. I end up using some of this extra fabric left to make some bias binding for a waistband. And here you just see me sewing up the hem of the skirt, finishing everything off so Nari will have her completed outfit. And here it is, her nice completed Minnie Mouse outfit. How adorable is this? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, how cute did these turn out? They're the most adorable little ears. So I really hope that little Miss Nari gets her own special use out of her ears and as extra little bonus her little circle skirt I made for her and I bought a little black top so she can have her very own Minnie Mouse outfit and her Minnie Mouse ears together. Unfortunately we haven't had her party yet so she doesn't actually have her special present yet from me so I can't actually show you uh, what it's like whenever she opened them to see what she had. I really hope that you guys are having fun making projects with me. I'm getting much closer to going back to school so I'm having a little bit less time on actually getting my videos filmed and edited and put up on YouTube before um, I run out of time during the week. I am still going to keep making these. I have a list. I have a list of projects that I still have to get done and that I can't wait to do. Um, I hope to see you in the next one. But while you're waiting, if you have not checked out my most recent video, you can check it out over here. I really hope that you guys have fun watching that. And if you have not yet subscribed, make sure to click up here and view my channel and you can subscribe and make sure to hit that bell icon so you're going to get notifications when I have a new video. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye!